Hello classmates, welcome, welcome to yet another video. So today I am going to be covering some of the parts that I did not include in the previous data handling video. Um, things like determining the missing value on, on a number sequence. So I have two examples with me right here that I need us to work on and we are going to start with this one. So as you can see, we have been given a number sequence, which is a usual thing or a normal thing when it comes to data handling. And we have been given a, sorry, we have been given a number sequence that has a missing value. And where there is a missing value, they have substituted the number with a letter A. So the question says that determine the value of A if the mean is 126.625. So in this case, we are not calculating the mean. They have given us the mean, but what we have to do instead is to find the value of A. So we have to find the value of A. They have given us a number sequence and it is one number short and we are supposed to find that number using the mean. So since we have been given the mean, we are going to use the formula of calculating mean in order to find the missing value, which is the value of A. So we are going to use the formula of calculating mean. And we all know that the formula of calculating mean is mean equals to sum of values divided by the number of values. This is the formula that we used to calculate mean and I think all of us know it by now. So mean equals to sum of values. Sum of values literally just means that you have to add all your values all together and divide it by the number of values, right? So we are now going to substitute our formula. So let's go back to the scenario and look what we have in the formula and what we don't have. So they say determine the value of A if the mean is 126,625. So we have been given the mean. Remember, we are not calculating the mean, but rather we are trying to find the value of A. They have given us the mean and we are going to put it where the mean is supposed to be. So mean is 126,625 equals to sum of values so now we are going to add all these numbers together right uh, i'm not going to write it here but please uh, it's because of space but since you have space uh, you're required to write everything down so uh, it is going to be 54 plus 89 plus a is a letter we cannot add numbers and letters all together it is impossible we all know that so it is 89 plus 102 plus 124 Four, plus one two four plus one four four plus one nine eight plus two hundred and ten and that gives us a total of nine hundred and twenty one so it is nine hundred and twenty one sorry nine hundred and twenty one plus a plus a right divide by the number of values so you count your values and it's one two three four five six seven eight you also include the letter when you count your values so it's one two three four five six seven eight we have eight values so that means that we are going to divide by eight right so as you can see this one is a division so it is a fraction and this one also has to be a fraction and in order to make it a fraction that means that we have to divide it by one so we're just going to say divide by one and then we are going to do what we call cross multiplication we're going to say 126,625 multiplied by eight right so it is going to be 126,625 multiply by eight right equals to one multiply by nine two one plus a it is going to remain the same because you multiply by one any number multiplied by one is that number right so we're just going to write this and say nine two one plus a right so now we are going to group the like terms but first of all before we can do that let's multiply these two together so we're going to say one two six comma six two five multiplied by eight and they give us one thousand and thirteen is nine twenty one plus a right so now we are going to group the like terms numbers on the same side and 
letters on the same side so uh, what we're going to do now is that we are going to say um, 130 I mean 1013 1013 minus 921 so the reason why we say 113 minus 921 it's because this number is a positive but once it uh, crosses the multiple k I mean the the, the 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 equal sign it changes into a negative so that's why it's 1013 minus 921 equals to a right so we can say that that means a equals to uh, 1013 minus 921 and when you say 1013 minus 921 it gives you a total of 90 Two. So that means that the value of A is 92. So this means that here we have 92. Now our sequence is complete. Everything is exactly how it is supposed to be. Now let's go to the second one where we are going to be dealing with range. So in this one we have been given the range and we are supposed to find the value of A. The question says determine the value of A if the range is 30. So in this case, we have been given the range and we're supposed to find the value of A. So as you know, we use the formula of what we have been given. So in this case, we have been given the range. And since we've been given the range, we are going to write the formula to calculate range. So we all know that the formula of calculating range is range equals to maximum minus minimum, right? range equals to maximum minus minimum so this is the formula of calculating the range and since we've been given the range which is 30 we're going to write 30 here and say 30 equals to maximum we don't have the maximum maximum is a so we're going to put an a here and say minus by the minimum minimum we do have the minimum and it is 24 so we're going to say a minus 24 right so also in this case we are going to group the like terms letters on the same side and numbers on the same side right so we are going to start with what uh, we are going to say that means that a equals to or rather we can say that 30 plus remember that once a number crosses the equal sign it changes so it is no longer going to be minus 24 but it is going to be plus 24 so that means that we're going to say 30 plus 24 equals to a right so that means that a equals to 30 plus 24 right so let's click that on the calculator uh, i think it's going to be 30 it's 54 but just to be sure let's take it on the calculator 80 plus 24 yes that gives us 54 so that means that the value of a in this case is 54 so this means that in order for our in order for our number sequence to be complete this means that we're going to put a 54 here and this is how we deal with uh, data handling where we have been given the range or we've been given the mean and we have a sequence that is not complete and we are supposed to find the missing value so this is how we deal with it you write the formula you start with the formula of the number that you have been given in this case we were given the mean and we used the formula of mean in order to find our missing value in this case we were given the range and we used the formula of calculating range to find our missing value so this is how we deal with it Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful. May goodness and grace lead you to the great heights of success.